Yo, what up, y'all? Intravenous here, back with another episode. Today, we are taking a look at yet another physical Pokemon game that none of us have likely heard of. Most of us. And this one I am really excited about. This just came in the mail, and it's Pokemon Theta Emerald The Last Dance. So let's get this wrapping off. This is very exciting to me for multiple reasons. It's supposed to be a really good Pokemon ROM hack. And it has what is said right here, 999 Pokemon, all made from scratch and updated. So, yeah, that's a lot of freaking Pokemon, yo. And um, this is, I'm pretty sure, we'll read it here, but this has been made, this is like the last dance of a very good ROM hacker who goes by LC Cool J 95 it says here, it has been almost half a decade since the last hack I uploaded to this website. Obviously, they grabbed this right from uh, Poke Harbor or one of those places. Uh, there's some web websites that kind of dedicate themselves to this. It says, and almost a year since I released Theta Emerald Forever and retired. But something was holding me back. I didn't feel satisfied with it, so I ended up making one last game. One last ROM hack, one last dance. So there are other ROM hacks from this person, and, and I don't know if this is a direct sequel based on this description here. I'm sure we could play it as is, but it is uh, perhaps a follow-up to Theta Emerald Forever. So we got pictures of the badges. We've got the rating here, over 200 skills, including a new one for Palafin. That's what it says there. Uh, we got more than 600 items, most of the most current generation. More than 700 moves and moves modified to be a little better. Compatible with Game Boy Advance, the link cable. It says it's compatible with the wireless adapter. It shows it getting connected with the GameCube and it works on the DS as well. I don't know if all of that is, you know, 100%. It does say right here that this is completed the final version so you don't have to worry about getting you know a version on here that they updated later this is it so let's pop it open yeah it looks nice i'll tell you these all come in uh, a ds case but of course they got this little slot up here to put your game boy advance game nice label i also love the transparent green very nice, very nice label here. You know, you're not going to see likely a battery in there. You'd usually have to pay extra for uh, that, which I guess gives you the real-time capabilities. But this still should be fully playable and probably really awesome. So let's go ahead and pop it in. First off, we're going to pop it in my new Naruto... Nintendo DS Lite that I just picked up, did a video on recently. I got this from AliExpress refurbished, and it was only $49.99. And it's really good for playing Game Boy Advance games. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I'll zoom in too. Alright. Let's get started. Well, we're not going to play the whole game, but we'll kind of get into it maybe the first five minutes or so, see what it's all about, and then we're going to save it, make sure it saves, and we're going to pop it in the Retron 5 to just see how it works on there on a TV. So this is cool so far. We've got a uh, custom screen here. This is not the, the normal title screen, obviously. Let's turn that back up a little. Let's see if there's anything interesting in the options. Uh, we'll set the text to fast. We'll leave the battle scenes on. Sound to stereo. 
And yeah, that's all good there. Let's get started. Some interesting clicking there. I don't know if that clicking is like supposed to be part of the song. I don't think it. I don't think that clicking is supposed to be there. But. Oh well. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? So far, this is the exact same as the beginning of Emerald. That's a little disappointing. I like it when they change up the story a little there, the name of the professor, the pictures, stuff like that. All right, so my name is... M-C-I-V... Yes. Okay. You're MCIV who's moving to my hometown. So, still a little root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. We're starting in the car again. This is also exactly the same. What is it? Is it just literally a uh, an improvement on Emerald? I kind of hope not. I hope there's more to it. It said 999 freaking Pokemon. Okay. Yep, I'm here. Must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Who the heck puts their kid in the moving truck with the boxes when they move to a new town? Come on. I might as well just pack me in a box. Little Root, alright. How do you like it? This is our home. We're going to go inside and find some Pokemon moving our stuff around. Yep, the Pokemon movers is nice, huh? If you, I mean, I, you guys probably know what this says here. I'm not going to read it all. It's a hack. It's supposed to be different. But it's not yet. Which is a bummer. So I'm supposed to set my clock. I'm just going to set it for the time that's there. And then she's going to tell me to check my notebook. And read, uh, you know, my notes. Make sure your desk is alright. Make sure everything's all right. Okay. I'm just gonna say uh, notes. Rule number one: open the menu. Rule number two: save progress. And then no writing on the pages after that. So let's save it. That's what they wanted us to do. Looks like it's saved. That's a good sign. And now she's going to call me over to the TV and tell me that my pops is on TV. He also does Pokemon battles. It's the Petalburg Gym. Dad's on. And then it's like, oh no, wait. I guess he's done. It's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh well. Yep. Nothing different there. Got running shoes right away. I forget if you usually start with running shoes or not. If not, that's a plus. Sometimes these are just like quality of life changes they make to these games. So now I'm going to go in here. The neighbor lady's going to be like, Oh my god, my daughter, she's she needs a friend. She wants to be a Pokemon, blah, blah. Excited about making a new friend. She's upstairs. And she's like, oh, I plan on becoming a Pokemon master. After I look at her Pokeball.
Who are you and what are you doing in here touching my Pokeball? Oh, you're MCIV. I'm May. My name is the same as Emerald. This is all the same text as Pokemon Emerald. I forgot I was supposed to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon, and then she says, I'll catch you later, MCIV, and it's like, what do you, what do you make it some kind of pun? Like, I'm a Pokemon, you'll catch two? Come on, May. I forget what happens if I try to do this. Oh, that's right. I, I thought I was thinking maybe she'd be like, don't touch my Pokeball. Alright, so now what happens is we're going to try to leave the town, and this little girl's going to be like, Something scary's going on over there! Could you check for me? Sure, and then I find the professor. He's running around getting chased by the dog, and, uh, well, I gotta go over there and pull a Pokemon out of his little duffel bag. This is where I choose my first Pokemon. And here is where we start to run into some changes. You see, normally you would not get Rowlet or Fue Coco. And Totodile. Totodile was in um, Crystal? In gold and Silver, right? I think. I don't know. There's so many freaking Pokemon games. I'm going to choose uh, Rowlet, because Rowlet gets pretty beastly. Turns into Decidueye and stuff. Alright, so we're going to challenge the Zigzagoon. But at least this is different. You know, I got a Rowlet, and that's different than what would normally be happening here in a regular Emerald game. Changing it up a little bit. I see I have a, uh, a move there called Leafage. I don't remember that move. So I'm starting off right with the Grass move. The Grass Attack. Now, on average, usually your starter Pokemon don't start with one of their, like, type moves until they grow a level or two. It's usually you start with something basic, a normal move like Tackle. I was in the tall grass, and that Pokemon jumped me. Oh, you're MCIV. This isn't a place to chat. Let's go ahead to my Pokemon lab later, even though we go immediately to the Pokemon lab. So, I've heard so much about you from your father. You battled way good earlier. You have your father's blood. I'd like to have you take that Pokemon and keep it. Now, I officially got my Rowlet. I don't want to give it a nickname. He tells me all this stuff he doesn't know. My kid May is also trying to become a Pokemon trainer, and you think he might be able to... If I say no here, he says, Oh, come on, don't be that way. Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. Okay. He'll just keep saying it. Oh, don't be that way. You have to say yes. All right, May. Teach me, May. Alright, so, um, now I can go talk to my mom, I don't feel like I don't think she says anything. She says something really bland, like, oh, well, bye. How are you doing? Oh yeah, you should rest. Why do I have to rest? I just got my Pokemon, he's not that tired. Take care, bye, so long. Leave my house, little one. Alright, so we need to go over here and see what kind of Pokemon show up. That's also different. We got a Sentret, with, which a, has a very nice looking um, sprite there. I like the way that Sentret looks. The sounds are good. And also that clicking that I heard in the, the title music doesn't seem to be present anymore after I started the game. That's a plus too. Also, we should double check and see if they changed anything. Like maybe I started out with Pokeballs or something, which normally you wouldn't. I already learned Astonish here. 
Almost leveled up twice from my first battle there. Interesting. This guy's just gonna tell me watch out for the tall grass. Nothing new there. Let's see what's in my bag. Nothing in my bag. Alright, uh, well. Let's see what other. We're, we're only gonna do this a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. I want to see if this save pops up in the Retron 5 and also just see that it works on the Retron 5. Because, you know, you'd be surprised how many of these uh, repros and ROM hacks actually work on it. So we got a Rattata there, a Rattata. Um, it's a nice sprite there too. It says they redid all the sprites. I mean, obviously someone, some of them you'd have to because Rowlet wasn't in this game. Growing fast. So you seem to level up pretty quick. Pokemon get tired taking to the Pokemon. Yeah. This is all the same. So wait. What do you got to say? I want to take a rest. Yeah, this is all the same. Uh, let's see what's in the Pokemon real quick. That all looks normal. I started with 5,000. Usually you start out with 3,000, I think, but maybe I'm mistaken. Well, alright, let's save it. I'm kind of underwhelmed. So this is just Pokemon Emerald with a bunch of new moves, new item sets, and uh, 999 Pokemon instead of the normal amount. That's what I'm getting from this. It's got Move Tutor, Name Raider, Move Deleter, Wonder Trade System, a 1 in 257 chance of finding a shiny one, shared experience. Um, interesting, so there's some of the new moves listed there and stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, so we got Flabebe here. That is also unique and with a very unique looking sprite. Okay, you know what? I think I'd have fun playing this because I've already... I never actually beat Emerald, but I got like... 6 out of 8 badges and I never really wanted to go back and play through it again. Maybe this is a way that I might enjoy it. You know, put a little twist on it. I think so. So let's kill this Flabebe and then, uh... I mean... Faint the Flabebe. And then uh, we're going to save it one last time. And power down. And then we're going to pop it in the Retron 5 and see what is up. Here's a tip that I learned recently from doing some research. When you're, dealing, when you're dealing with ROM hacks and you save a game, ROM hacks, repros, wait about 10 seconds before you turn the console off. Give it a little extra time for that save to sit in there. Because some of them, if you turn it off immediately, doesn't have time to save for some reason. So I think we've had enough time. I'm going to turn this off. And let's go ahead and get down to business. Alrighty, we got our little mini TV here. We've got our Retron 5 here. And I like to do this so you can see everything happen in real time. Uh, well, you don't think there's any weird uh, video cuts or you think I'm pulling some kind of magic here. So we're going to see that pop up on this screen. And then we're going to pop this in once it's fully powered on. You don't have to wait that long, but that's what I'm doing. All right, so here we go. We got this and we got our Hyperkin Scout. Let's pop this baby in. Loading. Now I have noticed that these ROM hacks, especially like the GBA ROM hacks, they take a little while to load because they've pumped a lot of information in these newer Game Boy Pokemon games compared to the originals. So I'm just going to speed through this for you. 
All right, and we've loaded up an unknown cartridge. That's normal because you wouldn't really, I don't think usually you'll see the name of the game there unless you have an actual game cartridge and not a repro, not a ROM hack. Let's go ahead and start her up. It's also going to say this. Hey, warning, we don't recognize this cartridge. Do you want to start it anyways? Yes, I do. And here we have it. I don't hear that ticking in the theme song here either. I don't know if that was the one time thing or maybe it only happens on the DS when I'm not really sure. This is looking pretty good though, I gotta tell you, looking pretty good. Unfortunately, no save file popped up. Uh, this might be a Retron 5 thing, so you can actually play the game on here and the Retron 5 itself will save the progress as a save state, but I guess it, it has trouble reading and writing the files, the actual save files to the cart. But you can do this. In fact, if you press start select and down, you can access the menu without using the crappy Retron 5 remote. And let's just go ahead and try to save a state here. And then we're gonna close it. And there it is, you can see it right there, y'all. So you can save it that way. Let's zoom out and throw in our final thoughts on this. All right, so we saw that it somewhat works on the Retron 5 if you use save states, but we still have to make sure that that save actually pops back up when you're playing on your Game Boy Advance or your Nintendo DS. So let's just go ahead and check that real quick before we close. The save file is corrupted. The previous save file will be loaded. Oh, there it is. I don't know why it said that, but hey, look. It saved fine. And there we are right where we left off. So, what do y'all think about this Pokemon ROM hack? Have you ever played it before? Do you like Pokemon ROM hacks? Uh, have you beaten this one? How many different things are there actually going on in here? Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear that. I really appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of the episode. If you like this, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. As it really helps me out and encourages me to make more videos. I got a lot more coming and over 17 more Pokemon ROM hacks to check out. Some of them are entirely new Pokemon games. Others are more like quality of life enhancements on those original games that we played when we were kids. So I'll catch you all in the next episode next time. Peace out. Childhood. We were all there together And in denial would play like it was forever And in the tall woods We'd stay out of the weather Like it was all good Every day we made it for pleasure We were saying whatever Came to our minds Plain and simple like a tetherball Reaching the sky We were taking new heights On the swing while it was making us fly Beat the king of the hill And everything will be fine The thrill thrill of everything we would find Again the sense of a child